Hello and welcome to my very first Live 2D tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add physics to curly-haired VTuber models. Now for the most part, VTuber models with straight hair are fairly easy to rig, but when it comes to adding more detail, it gets a little bit more tricky. For this one, I decided to challenge myself and decided to draw a character that has really curly hair. As you can see, she has very tight curls, not just uh, wavy, uh, wavy, wavy hair, but as you can see, I managed to add the physics enough that her hair bounces and sways from side to side very nicely. So I'm going to teach you how to achieve that effect so you can go ahead and do uh, VTuber models with tight curls with no worries at all. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, this is an old version of the model I used earlier. This one is not yet fully rigged. I'm gonna show you guys. This one is only rigged up until the X and Y, um, the X and Y parameters of the head angles. So, what you need to do is when you draw or when you have rather a curly haired model you need to make sure that every strand you draw is attached to the head so this one I already rigged it so it's attached to the head and it moves along with the X and Y parameters of the head angles so you need to make sure of that first to do that first before adding the physics to the hair so once you're done with that, let's go ahead and add some hair movement. First things first, you need to make sure that you mesh your hair right. When it comes to meshing, it's usually recommended that uh, for parts that require a lot of movement, that you follow along the shape of the hair and you add a bone. So that's exactly what I did here. Let me show you. So that's what I did here. I followed along the shape of the hair and I added a bone or a spine along the shape of the hair or rather the flow of the hair. But this is not something you should do because it will cause a lot of errors. So let me just show you exactly what that error looks like. I'm going to add a deformed path along the hair this is what I did which uh, generated a lot of errors and then we're gonna skin this one go to modeling skinning and then use deformation path for skinning and already we got an error that there are parts of the mesh that is not properly connected hit OK then we go to modeling open physics so let's can let's try and add some physics there Input preset head. I had no need to add the physics model preset. Just hit OK. And then let's add a few pendulums. And then let's go to output settings and then we go and click on all of the curls or the parts of the curl that was automatically made from skinning and then let's increase output there as you can see the hair is cut up into several parts it's not glued together properly the mesh is all over the place so that's what happens if you your mesh follows along the lines of your tight curls so that's exactly why I told you guys not to do that so how exactly do we solve this let me show you let's, so let's go ahead and undo what we did now just go ahead and edit your mesh manually erase that mesh now what you want to do is you want to manually create a new mesh but this time you make sure that 
it's just a large surface area co uh, encompassing the strand of curly hair no need to follow the shape of the hair an oblong shape will do or whatever shape it is that um, will go ahead and wrap around your uh, hair strand so auto connect hit up hit ok and then we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier when we were skinning so just go to the deform path edit tool and then don't do this don't follow along the lines of the hair don't do that what you want to do is to add just a very few points so with this type of hair um, I realized that my maximum is four but I'm gonna do three this time it really depends on the length of your hair but make sure that you only use very few points here just use very few and make sure that they're spaced far apart from each other so now that we're done with that you just hit modeling and then skinning and then use deformation path for skinning now sometimes it will give us an error so just make sure to redo so let's go ahead and redo that leaving a larger amount of space in between the points so modeling skinning use deformation path this time we did not get an error uh, we got an error last time because I believe that uh, the points were a little too close here at the top but now it's okay we did not get an error and the hair has been divided into one two three four parts so we go now to physics let's go ahead and add curly trial input head no need to add a preset and let's add some pendulums there were four so let's add four pendulums for to represent the four parts of the hair just make sure making sure that the pendulum is moving okay so let's go to output settings add and then you head down to where the curls have been uh, segregated so there are one two three four five there are actually five so there's five pendulums here for the five uh, segments of the curls it's not moving yet there's ever so slight movement because the scale is only one so we increase the output and as you can see it's much better than earlier there's no more chunks missing it's one whole strand of hair beautiful now I would suggest you change the scale here to match how you'd like the hair to move for this particular model I just go with a 20, a 10, a, tw a 20, 10, another 20, another 10, and a 30 towards the end. Again, this is entirely dependent on your model, entirely dependent on you. So there we go. I like that better because it seems more natural. So that's. Okay, so I re removed the movement of this chunk of hair right here so that way it'll look like it's attached to the head and it's just the end ends that are moving. So that's pretty much how you add physics to curly haired VTuber models and just go ahead and do the same process for the other strands of hair and you'll get the same effect or a similar effect to our rigged model right here you will see that there are a lot of rotation deformers that were made after we were done skinning so this is the sort of final effect beautiful wavy motions and that's it that's how you rig curly hair 
in Live 2D. And thank you so much guys for joining me in this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. And if you ever want to see more from me, just go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the like button as well. So that way this video can reach more people. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next video.